Hey guys, I'm going to show you guys how to create a chart that will essentially show your profit and loss as the day goes on. Um, so right now all I have is I have a normal chart open which I'm going to use to trade and show you guys how it works. And then this chart right here pretty much just have a blank chart with nothing really on it. Um, this is the one that we are going to make into our um, profit and loss chart. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to remove this essentially. So we're going to click on this chart, go up here to chart and chart draw types, and we're going to go blank. So what that's going to do is that's going to remove um, the chart completely. Next thing I'm going to want to do is add um, the study. So it's called trading and then it is daily profit and loss. And I'm also going to add the profit and loss text, as that is also helpful. Um, and so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit apply and we're gonna go in here to the trading daily profit and loss, go to the settings and we're gonna switch this to region one so it shows as the main price um, graph and we're gonna click here on display as main price graph. And I'm gonna go in subgraphs unclick all the display settings so we don't have all this um, nonsense up here and I'm going to do the same for the text um, but while we're in here we're going to want to color this based on the slope so whenever you make a profit it's going to show blue whenever you lose it's going to show green so we're going to go here I'm going to change this one to blue go in here change this one to red and there are no settings here so you just have to have that display as main price graph and then I'm going to hit apply I'm gonna go over here to this one. I'm just gonna change this color to white um, and then just unclick all the display settings um, so we don't have to deal with that. Okay, go back out. And first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is you can see here the scale is kind of blank and I want it to be set to a constant range. So what I'm gonna do here is right click here and go to scale settings and what we're gonna do is we're going to make it a constant range and I am going to make the range 10,000. So depending on how much you're making or losing on the day, I would have the range just set to a constant like that. And I'm going to add a horizontal grid line for every 1,000, just so we can see um, that as a reference. So you can see here, um, we still don't have the grid line. So what we're gonna need to do is go up here to chart and go to horizontal grid and click here, all regions. And this will just show whatever color or whatever settings you have in the um, graphic settings for the chart grid right here. So you can make it thicker, etc. So I'm just gonna leave it how I had it and we're gonna keep it like that and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to replay just to see, show you kind of what it will look like. So I'm going to replay and just have it going super fast um, like this. And just spam entries, take a loss. You can see we lost right there. Let's enter a bunch of contracts. Close at a profit, it moves back up. And as you can see right now, right, with that many contracts, you'd expect it to be more. And so what you're gonna wanna do here is right now, I think it is displaying in points. So if we go into settings, we can see right here, it says P. So that means it's in points. So we're gonna go here and go to the chart settings. We'll pull that over here and then go to trading and then come down here and the profit loss format, you're gonna to wanna to change that to your currency and that way now it will be showing me how much I made or lost in dollars. So let's try to enter a position and exit out again. You can see we made 2000 and so 
this is just a cool way to show your profit and loss and then also you can see your open PNL here, closed PNL, daily PNL. Plot that, take a loss. And so this is just kind of a cool way to have it display your profit and loss on a chart. That's pretty much it. And then you can also mess around with the scale so it shows less numbers. Come in here to the scale setting. And let's see. Scale increment, you can do, I'm going to do 500. Um, that way, it's only showing numbers per every 500. So whether you scale or not, it won't really change it. And that's about it.